Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And today I'm really excited to announce Neve 3.4, Bran, which was named after the Bran Castle in Romania, commonly known as Dracula's Castle. This version comes with new features and exciting updates that we'll cover in this video. So let's begin. Today we are using this brand new starter site called Finance Blog. It uses Neve's most powerful features and was built with a huge focus on blog enhancements. Let's go ahead and explore this starter site. So right now I'm logged in and I'm on the single post page and there we can see this post header which was built with the single post options from the customizer. Right under we have a dynamic advertiser disclosure which was also built using Neve's custom layouts module. We can go ahead and view its settings. In the custom layout settings I'll click on affiliate notice. So here we can see the design. It's basically a group block with a paragraph and a link to the disclosure. I'll click outside of this block to reveal the custom layout settings. The layout type is hooks and it's using the before post content hook. According to the conditional logic for this layout, it will only be displayed if the post type is equal to posts. And we've also integrated the visualizer, which is one of our plugins, and it was used to add interactive charts like this one to the blog posts. Single post pages also have this post social share module and its settings can be accessed from the customizer under layout then single post then you'll have to scroll down to find sharing icons there you'll have access to a number of intuitive styling options to change the look of your icons you can also style or edit icons individually by clicking on their tab and then you can go ahead and make your changes to add a new icon click on add item click on the new tab add a title for example i'll type in pinterest and under social network i'll select pinterest as well and now the new icon has been added. We have also integrated the restrict content plugin to restrict content dynamically based on a user role or membership level. It's a third party plugin that comes pre-installed when you import the starter site. So right now I'll edit the premium category to restrict items in this category to subscribers only. And I'll go ahead and click on the update button. Let's access a blog post from the premium category. I'll open the first one in a new incognito window and we'll see what happens if somebody was not logged in or subscribed, accesses the content. They'll see this message that says the content is restricted to subscribers. Now, if we go back and we open the same post while we're logged in as an admin, we'll notice that we can actually see the content. So this is what a paid subscriber would see. We've also improved the social icons component by adding responsive controls. If we go to our settings under style, we can now adjust the icon size across multiple devices. I'll show you how it works with mobile. Let's open up the menu to reveal the icons. And now we can go ahead and adjust the size by moving the slider. Submenus now have advanced style controls. To access these settings, you'd have to go to the primary menu, go to style, and you'll find four submenu options to customize the icon, container, item, and typography. As an example, I will apply the primary accent color to the submenu icon. I'll keep the size the same and I'll scroll down to submenu item and I'll apply this hover skin mode. I'll also change the text hover color to the secondary accent. So now we can go ahead and view the results of our customizations. We've also added the advanced search icon component. When compared to the original, this one has a more flexible search function with options that let you control exactly how searches are performed. And here we have one of the most useful functions, which is search in. It lets you restrict the search area to specific post types. So as an example, if I search for stocks, that search will only be conducted within the posts post type. We've also added an advanced search form component. This one has the same settings as the advanced search icon. There's only a visual difference since it's a form. We've made changes to the way custom layouts are created. Now, if we click show hooks at the top of the page, we're now able to create a custom layout just by hovering over a hook and clicking on the plus icon. And now we can go ahead and create a very simple layout. Let's click on the plus icon to add a reusable block. I'll use this hello block and I'll call this test. If we look on the right under custom layout settings, we can see that the layout type is hooks and it's using the after header hook. Now let's configure the conditional logic. From this drop down menu, we can go ahead and select page is equal to home page. And now we can publish our custom layout. 
So based on our conditional logic, if the page is equal to a home page, then our custom layout will be shown in the hook we selected. So here it is. Now when we go to custom layouts and click on add new, we'll see this modal with three cards to choose a layout type. So if you select hooks, you'll see a list of all available hooks on the page. If you select templates, you'll see a list of five different page templates. And if we go to components, we'll see a list of different page elements. So after choosing a layout type, you'll just need to click on the create custom layout button and that should take you to the WordPress editor where you'll be able to design your own custom layout. Once you're done with your design, you'll just need to configure your custom layout settings and click on publish. So that brings us to the end of our demonstration. I'll leave a link to Neve in the description so you can go ahead and check out these features yourself. Subscribe to our channel to view more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.